I hope you get the chance to reconnect with Lena. The two of you had so much fun when you were little. Oh, I remember. Oh, well, except that one time when one of her chickens nearly pecked all of the feathers off of one of ours. Oh, that's right. Nasty little bird bully. Well, I made him into Coca Van. After he died of natural causes. Anyway, Lena won't say much about it, but I think she and Parker are having some difficulties. I'm sure she could use a good friend right now. Have you ever lived anywhere other than Fairhaven? Not for very long. I did commute back and forth to the city for a year, though. I was taking a business management class. The city wasn't for me, but it did give me the chance to meet Parker, so I'm grateful to it for that. If you were harvesting the bounties of nature and taste a berry only to find it bitter, you spit it out. This is only natural. It is our bodies protecting us from the dangers of poison. And so, when our community is faced with the bitter malcontents, we too must spit them out for the safety of us all. Hey, Natalia said you fixed up that broken mine entrance. You're a real whisk taker. <laughs> oh, Angus. If I were you, I wouldn't linger around Shelby's campsite. Why? He doesn't seem dangerous. He isn't, he isn't. But who would choose to live in those woods? So has Hazel taught you any of her tricks yet? Sorry, what? You are learning how to run the farm, yes? I hope it's not indiscreet to say so, 
But Hazel has indicated to my husband that she would like to leave the farm to you. Oh, right, yes. Um, I'm learning how to help out so she can rest and get better. Right, of course. Have a nice day, Tara. You should feel free to come by the Consciousness Center anytime. I wasn't sure what to make of it when Messenger Connor first moved here, but it's chill. It's just about trying to be a better person. Saw Vanessa on her way to your farm with a plate of cupcakes. She really is such a thoughtful first lady to take that kind of time. And she works with the twins every day. The League of the Conscious Mind doesn't have saints, but if we did, she would certainly qualify. <laughs> Natalia told me you repaired the mine. How wonderful! Hopefully soon we can make some new medals for our ceremonies. She's about to level up to silver. Hi, kitty. under your eyes? Your skin is so perfect, I didn't think that it could manifest bags. Ah, you can tell that I was out late last night. I have a friend I go see some nights. And when it's good, it's very good. But we're very similar, so when it's bad, one of us always ends up storming out. Last night it was me. Fairhaven, Shelby. Had you ever been here before? No, not in this life at least. I was living in the city like you. Stayed too long to say the least. sound funny, but the bar stool on the far left is my favorite. <laughs> That's where Giacomo sat the first time he walked into my diner 15 years ago. He and Marcus, Lena's father, were supposed to be talking about something serious. Oh, but Giacomo only had eyes for me.
Hey, how's farm life treating you, City Mouse? It's, uh, wearing me out, to be honest. Then don't forget to stop in at my place. I've been working on spring cocktail flavors. I was supposed to go back home for my family's Lunar New Year dinner a few weeks ago. My mom's side makes the whole thing out of everyone coming home. But I just, uh, I didn't want to deal with it this year. It must be nice living with your grandma. She makes really good pie. Don't tell Sophia, but I like Hazel's better. Angus gets annoyed at me for ragging on Cameron, but I can't help it. I mean, look at his pants! He looks like he's about to go join a street gang in a Broadway musical. It's a recipe.
Oh, Parker's so supportive of me, so I try to support him too. But out of all the hobbies he could have taken up, he had to pick the League of the Conscious Mind? What? You don't like it? No, it's... it's not that. It's just... I don't trust people who tell you that you're the only obstacle between yourself and true happiness. I don't tell my folks back home that I joined the League of the Conscious Mind. My mama worked all week, but she still dragged me and my brother to church every Sunday. She would not be pleased. I gather that my grandma doesn't think much of the Consciousness Center either. Yeah, well, that's Hazel. I get it. If I were her age, I wouldn't want to hear life lessons from some young newcomer either. Should only take a day or so. I dared Emmy to go in Shelby's cabin when he wasn't around, but she was too chicken to do it. I wonder what he keeps in there. I bet it's something really weird. I think that's just his home, Finn. 
and you shouldn't go in without being invited. <sighs> I know, I know. Do dreams mean anything? Mine keep getting weirder and weirder. I think they do. I bet if you asked Shelby, he'd have some good insight for you. This morning, Violet saw my shirt, told me it looked bad, and made me put on another one. And actually, she was right. This one does look better. She's really good at that stuff. I wish she could sell clothes instead of flowers. But she said, shirts don't grow on bushes, and flowers do. Hey, how's school going? Okay, I guess. If I tell you a secret, promise not to tell anyone? Sure. I liked the old Mrs. Soft better. The old Mrs. Soft? Yeah. Mayor Soft's mom used to be the teacher. But then she died, and his wife took over. The old Mrs. Soft was really nice. Have you been by Kai's stall? He always has interesting things to sell. Some people never leave the place where they were born. But Kai's always ready for his next adventure. Parker and Lena are wonderful citizens, so industrious. It's a shame their children don't take after them. They're just kids. There's still plenty of time. Maybe. But the number of places in Town Hall where those two have hidden whoopee cushions is obscene. All the small business owners here get a discount at my place, but Sophia gets a double discount. It's my way of paying her back for all the free food she makes me take. Sebastian's always asking me for surf tips, but he still hasn't gotten in the water yet. I think the waves have him a little spooked. Gonna see if I can start him out with boogie boarding. Thing you learned how to fish from Bruno. When I was a kid, the fisheries were focused on getting bigger and bigger. When they got too big, they went out of business. Bruno never did that. He fished as much as he needed. No more. Hang on. This 
This isn't a fish. It's some kind of recipe. It's a recipe. Cast any good incantation spells lately? Uh, no. Ugh, me either. I'm not very good at them. Potions, though. I'm a killer.
Should I go to bed? A lot of folks think Shelby's an odd one, living in the woods all on his own. But it's hard to outlive the ones you love. And old Shelby's lost more than most. He's got a lot to teach for those willing to listen. Hmm. <laughs> 
Angus makes the best bread, even if he gives me a hard time for always leaving the first slice in front of the door of my house. And why do you do that? Oh, it's just an old superstition my dad taught me. It's supposed to appease the house elves. Of course, I, I don't believe in any of that. <laughs> Not really. Messenger Cameron says that the first step in climbing the mountain of consciousness is leaving behind old beliefs that no longer serve you. Damon's let me stay on his couch when I've been in my cups a bit more than I should. <laughs> his place is nice and all, but he's got chicken bones everywhere. No wonder Kim's butcher is always out. Every time I think I've finished all my patient's insurance paperwork, I find more. Our insurance system is almost bad enough to drag me out of this field. <sighs> almost. Yeah. <laughs> 
Gotcha! I got a letter from an institute focused on herb lore. They want to recruit me. I love potions, but I'm not sure if that's the right move for me. I can't believe magic schools are actually a thing. Girl, they've been around for ages. They're also crazy expensive, so it's like, probably not a real option. Should I go to bed?